I don't know what you're thinking. This is like three days in a row that I've done a video, and you think, "What the hell, Don?" I mean, come on, you know, you either you either in this or you're not, and everything. Well, so I'm on a roll. I've got a, an email here that I want to answer. I got a, a question from one of our subscribers here, and I thought, and rather than just write to him alone, I would answer to everybody. And I'm trying, oh, okay. All right, so, so, well, I'll tell you what, I'll start on it right after this. Hey. Hello there. Hey, Don, my wife and I love watching your YouTube channel. We started... Who doesn't? <laughs> oh, I know. That's okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. God, people get so carried away. After researching the different cities, we were leaning towards either Olón, Salinas, or Mata because we love the beach. Then all the craziness started happening in, happening in Ecuador. So my question is, knowing what you know now, and having lived there, if you had to do it all over again, would you still pick Ecuador or would you choose a different country? Well, boy, what a question. I know what, I know what you're thinking. I know what, exactly what you guys are thinking because you've heard me say some negative things recently about my life here in Monta. But, you know, you got to keep in mind that it's Monta, not Ecuador. So, to just the short answer is that would I would I do it again? Would I come to Ecuador again? Maybe so, maybe no. I don't know. You know, there's a lot of great countries to live in South America, believe it or not. You folks have heard me talk about Uruguay, looking into Uruguay, and looking into Argentina. I've kind of ruled out Uruguay because it's just. The cost of housing there is just so prohibited. And, but Argentina really looks appealing to me, and so does Chile. Uh, the, the, I just have to wait. I have to give it time because there's a lot of things that are happening in Argentina right now. There's a new president coming on board. There's talk that they're going to switch to the U.S. dollar. You know? As everybody knows about the economy there, the inflation, the problem with the inflation. So I, I have to, there's a lot of things that I have to weigh out and see, you know, uh, how it could be different, better or worse. But, you know, also here in Ecuador is the love of my life. And I, you know, I, I, I you know, if I, if I were to leave, I'm sure it'd be just a matter of time before I'd be back. My problems with Ecuador is the culture on the coast. And because I've been in both places, I've been on the culture and I've been in the Andes. Coffee break. <coughs> oh my God, I almost choked myself on my own coffee. All right. You should see the people in the restaurants when I do that. Uh, Anyway, I was going to say something else, but I decided against it, so I didn't want to hurt somebody's feelings. So, yeah, I mean, would I choose? Would I do it over again, or would I choose another country? I, I, it's, I, I sure I would probably do it again, but I, pro I wouldn't, probably wouldn't be here in Monta. I would be uh, somewhere else if I want to be on the coast. I think I'd try to figure out a way to make Ayampi work for me. Um, but my problem with Ayampi is I'm too far away from from healthcare. I don't, Olón is okay, but I'm telling you, there's, I've met too many people that have lived in Olón and then left. Uh, I know a couple that lives there right now, the coolest neatest people you can ever want to meet and can't give their names because I just 
you know, got to be careful about that. But uh, if you want to, Edwin, if you want to ask me privately in the email, I can get in touch with these people and see if they would like to talk to you. I'm sure they would, okay? And they live in Olon. I definitely would not go to Salinas. No, don't go to Salinas. That, uh, Salinas is a party town. It's like a Las Vegas on the coast. It's the only time there's people there is when it's a big, like a holiday. It's Ecuador or it's Ecuador. It's Las Vegas. Okay, it's Key or, or Cuenca's. No, damn it, it's Wyakil's little party town. Stay away from Salinas. Salinas is a great place to go for a week, but I don't think you'd want to live there. I'm I'm t just telling you the truth. Uh, I also saw here, and you, we just don't want to spend our time and money doing exploratory trips and possibly buying a house if expats stop right there. Forget the idea of buying a house. Everybody, I know that some of you are going to crap in your pants because I'm saying this, because I, don't come to Ecuador and buy a house, okay? Don't come here and buy a condo or an apartment unless you've been here and you've experienced it and you know what it's like to live here. Do an exploratory. It's, it's so much more feasible and logical to rent a piece of property, rent a nice apartment like I've got right here. You see my view, okay? So don't, you know, don't, don't come here and buy a property. That's the dumb thing to do. I'm telling you, be, come first, rent, live here for a while, six months or a year, and then buy. Believe me, you'll thank me later. I'm telling you, I promise you, you'll thank me later. You said, uh, follow a question, I guess, would be with your knowledge from being there, what would you consider the safest places on the beach? Nowhere. Uh, I guess really... It depends on what, how you want to define safe, you know. There's a lot of petty crime. It's just, it's a nuisance. It's nuisance crimes. People will, will rob you of your cell phone, pickpocket you, you know. Take your watch so they can go, you know, feed their family. It's, it's a shame, the motivations for it. I think in the United States, people commit crimes for the sport of it. Here, there's crimes of opportunity, I guess. They're looking for money you know, to feed themselves. So uh, don't 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 come here thinking that beaches are safe, all right? I I don't think that's a good uh, uh, good good choice of words. Okay, it's my opinion, my opinion, and of course my opinion. And twenty dollars won't buy you a cup of coffee. So you know, don't you know, a beach is okay to visit, but I mean don't. You know, I, I can't say enough that I don't think that beaches here are safe. I just, my, you can, I'm sure you can talk to some other YouTubers and get different opinions about it, I'm sure. But I'm, I'm telling you how I feel. And you can take that for what it's worth. Okay? As you know, I don't give advice. I just make recommendations based on how I did it, what I did, why I did it and so forth okay so anyway I hope that answers your questions um, just right you know again bottom line yeah I would probably come back but I would also certainly look at other options I still have my sights set on other places like Argentina Uruguay Paraguay even Mexico so uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't completely discount Ecuador there are some great places to live here great places Cuenca is about as close to to as perfect as you can get, in my opinion, as far as places to live in uh, Ecuador. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to this channel. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like it, bite me. And I say that with peace and love, as always. Okay, I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.